Hi, um, welcome back. So, um, next kind of statements that you're going to learn today is about the uh, loop statements. Okay, loop statements. And uh, I'm gonna have a, a funny, nice uh, introduction about loop statements. Um, uh, let's say we're going to compare the uh, first uh, student, let's say, which is um, uh, uh, to be um, uh, writing down uh, several lines of I will not angry with idiots on YouTube and if you use a manual approach you're going to need to write one by one of this one will be very boring and will be very slow and uh, let's say uh, let's imagine if uh, you are uh, punished to uh, write about thousand or five hundred rows of this one is gonna be terrible so uh, this one is uh, uh, an approach but uh, manually writing this is very difficult Okay, there is another uh, smarter students, uh, better try, you know, see, nice tries. Um, that is, uh, in this case, this student is going to uh, just write a for loop instead of writing, uh, doing it manually. He's just going to create a for loops uh, to start from, uh, to start counting from one up until 500. Okay, and each time uh, increase the count so that you can write 500 times of the uh, 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 the 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 uh, lines that um, I will not throw paper airplanes in the class. Okay, then so how do we um, work with loops? You see, the uh, looping is very powerful. So how do you work with loops here? Okay, and in this case, um, the first loop that we're going to study is normally the for loops, and I'm going to to use a slide showing in order to um, show you how does the uh, for loop groups. For the for loops like this one, for the for loop statement, you're going to uh, write it as for this way. And then uh, for loop statements will include three of its other statements within it. This one is initialization statement uh, with the semicolons here. This one is another mm, uh, condition statement which is used uh, in order to uh, check uh, the condition of this loop. Um, an increment decrement statement to change the counters variables. Um, I will explain about the H1 of this one right now. So uh, inside here, inside the for loop, you're going to have a block of codes, block of statements. Um, why do I say it's block of statement? Because it's uh, within, it is staying within the um, curly brackets. Okay, within curly brackets. For this kind of loops, uh, how does it execute? Okay, it is execute this way. For the first time you come in, Okay, it's going to execute the initialization statement first. Okay, initialization statement first. Then, um, then after um, executing this initialization statement, um, it's going to check the condition. Okay, and if the condition is true, okay, if the condition is true, it's going to execute one or more statements here. Then it's going to get back and especially when it get back to the loop it's not getting back to the initialization anymore that's why this one is called initialization it's going to be executed only once at first but when the loop gets back it's going to uh, increase or decrease your counters okay, or, or any other variables okay then after increase decrease the counter it's going to check the condition again okay it's going to check the condition again and if the condition is remaining true it's going to okay, continue to execute this one another times and um, it's going to get back to the for loops okay, again get back to init, um, increment decrement but not the initial um, statements and it check the condition again and when it check the condition again if it's true it's going to continue to execute this one and get back to increment decrements okay uh, and it check condition again and if the condition is false it's gonna finish okay it's going to finish this loop it's going to finish this loop. Um, that is the way the for loops work. Let's just give an example about the for loops. How does the for loops work? So we're going to start with this one. I'm going to create a new uh, pane to explain to you. And this one I'm going to is say if let's say I'm going to write a Java program which is for loops. Okay. So this one is the. No, what is that? I know this one is both of them. Uh, don't save. I'm going to no, 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 no. Cancel it. Don't save. Uh, this one is the text. Okay. Um, so uh, as we have seen inside here, the for loop is consists of three parts. 
Okay. Initialization, condition, and increment statements. H is one statement. So you're going to write for loops. Okay. Simply for initialization, when it first comes in, you're going to uh, just, just make it simple practice. I'm going to declare um, a counter. Then uh, for loops, when we first come in for this for loop, I'm going to put my counters as instead of saying counter, I'm going to say the I. Okay. Normally we use I. We, I'm going to initialize the i to be zero. Okay, this one initialization. Then I'm going to write on the condition as long as i is smaller than three. Okay, smaller than. Make sure as the condition is as long as i is smaller than three. I'm going to I'm going to um, execute the code. And after finishing execute the code, I'm going to get back and I'm going to increase my x values. By one x plus plus means increase it by one x plus plus uh, x plus plus here means x equal to x plus one. This one is what it means for x plus plus. Okay, this one is x equal to x plus one. Then uh, after this, I'm going to display x values. Okay, and you'll see if I'm going to execute this one. If I'm going to execute this one. Um, on uh, pains and let, let's just see this one. So uh, we're going to execute this statement. Oh, sorry, not x. We are using i instead of x. We are using i here. So when we first run this line of code, it's going to uh, display on the screen here. It's it's going to it's going to declare us a variable inside the memory variable i and this variable i will have the values is equal to okay equal to nothing so far equal to nothing so far so for the first one when we um, first comes in the loops it's going to execute i equal to zero first okay i equal to zero first when i equal to zero you'll see this i equal to zero i equal to zero then it checks the condition if i smaller than three i smaller than three and this one leading to true okay if it's leading to true it will accept, execute your code and in this case it executes this block of code it's going to display on your output the first value i which is now currently i equal to zero so you have zero here next time when you finish executing you're going to get back but this time you don't get back to initialization. You don't get back to condition. You're going to get back to the increments uh, i plus plus. Okay, i plus plus means uh, add one to the i. So i currently is zero. You add one to i, it is one. After adding um, i to um, increase uh, increase i, you're going to check the condition again, and one smaller than three is still leading to true again. So if it, this condition is true, you're going to execute this statement, which is display i. And if you display i, it's going to display 1 over here. When you get back to this for loop, you're going to get back to increments. Again, don't get back to this one. okay? Because this one, initialization, we're going to get back to the increments. So i now is equal to true. okay? And 2 now, you're going to, after increment, you're going to check the condition. When you check the condition, it is smaller than 3. Is still leading to true, so you're going to continue to execute this one. You're going to display i, and you're going to display two over here. And after displaying, you're going to finish the for loop and get back to the increments. Right now, i equal to three, okay? Uh, because it's plus one. Then you check the condition. Then you get out here. Check the condition, which is three smaller than three. This one leading to false, okay? If it is false, then you finish the for loop and finish for loop. You finish the programs. So this one. Is the final result okay? This one is the final result. It will be equal to 0, 1, and 2 over there. Okay, 0, 1, and 2. This one is the way the for loop works. Okay, this one is the way the for loop works. Okay, another kind of um, frequently used um, loops is the um, while loop statements. Okay, the while loop statements can be explained this way. Okay, the while loop is you're going to do while, and then you put the condition over there. And then you're going to do a block of codes, your codes here. So the condition is this one is is is, is the way it works is as long as or while the condition is evaluated to be true, you will execute this one. As long as the condition is evaluated to be true, you will execute this one. You will finish this looping 
only if the condition is false so i can write a program to test something like this you can do you can do um, worry you can declare first one. int i equal to zero then worry i smaller than three which is similar to this condition okay why i smaller than three you going to uh, display i okay but this one you have to make sure inside the while loop you have to do some changes okay to change the values of i otherwise this one gonna be looping forever because all the time is zero and all the time is smaller than three so it's gonna be loop forever so this one you're going to let's say i plus plus inside the for loop after displaying r you're gonna do i plus plus here okay uh, let me just give an example uh, about this one or you can just uh, do it uh, like the way i run it here okay like the way I run it here, you won't be able to execute this while loop. The while loop works again. Why the condition is true, you're going to do the code. Another kind of for loops, um, another kind of um, also frequently but not that frequent uh, for loops that you um, often see, which is the do while loops. The do while loops is going to be like this one. You're going to do, okay, let's just say it. you're going to uh, do some code, okay, do some code. Okay, then why the conditions is evaluated to true? Okay, why remember to put this semicolon? Why the condition is um, why the condition is evaluated to true? You're going to get back and you're going to explain. Uh, you're going to execute about the, uh, the the code here. Okay, so as long as the condition is true, you're going to get back and you're going to explain the. Uh, sorry, you're going to execute the code. Uh, the block of code over there. This one is different from the um, why um, why block a little bit, why a little bit, uh, why loops a little bit. Uh, what's the difference between uh, the uh, do code why condition and the why condition um, do the code is that uh, at least this one will be at least executed one. So you're going to do the code first before checking the conditions. Okay, you do the code first before checking the condition but for this one you have to check the condition first before doing the code okay that is the only difference between the war and the do war okay um then for war and do why i'm going to uh, let's say let's say i'm going to write a program int i equal to zero you're going to do uh, do something do display i uh, then this one war I still smaller than three you going to get back and display but this one make sure after display r you have to increase the variable i too otherwise this one gonna be loop forever because this one will loop forever because there is nothing to change the i then this condition is always uh, to be evaluated as true and this will never stop okay that's it okay uh, next part I'm going to write some code to uh, demonstrate about this By now we can um, quickly try to run this one. So uh, I'm going to execute this one. Whenever you run the uh, i equal to zero, you're going to um, display here i equal to um, zero, and you're going to first check the condition. If it is smaller than three, this one is evaluated to be true. So um, so you're going to display i. You're going to display zero here. Okay. Then you increase your i first. Increase the i. So i now equal to one then you get back to the loop you check the condition i smaller than i smaller than um, i smaller than three smaller than three still true then you display r you display um, when you display r you're going to display um, one there then you get back to the while loop okay uh, sorry then you, this, after displaying you increased i equal to two Okay, then you get back to for loop and check the condition which is smaller than three. It's still to be evaluated as true. So you're going to execute this block of code which is to display i now it is two. Then after displaying i is two, you're going to run i plus plus means increase i one value is three. Then you get back to the loop. When you get back to the loop, you're going to check this condition. Okay. and 3 smaller than 3 is to be evaluated as phones and if it's phone you finish the for loop so the result won't be again 0 1 2 similar you're going to run the um, do while loops uh, and next time I'm going to write some um, codes in order to demonstrate about this one bye bye